Hello, this is AJ Hoag. Welcome to the mini story for Emotional Mastery 2. Now, before we start this story, I want you to do something. You know what I want you to do. Stand up. Pull your shoulders back. Chest up. Chin up. Eyes up. Stand strong. Now breathe deeply. Good. Now big grin, a big, stupid, crazy smile on your face. Come on, you can do it. And finally, move your body. Walk. You can walk in one place without moving if you want. Just lift up your feet. If you're outside, then move. Move your body. Okay, you need to be awake. You need to be alive while you're learning. You ready? Let's start the mini story. Elvis the spider can't swim. But he wants to. What does Elvis want to do? Swim. Elvis wants to swim. What is Elvis? Well, of course, Elvis is a spider. How many legs does Elvis have? Eight. Just checking. Okay, Elvis has eight legs. Because? Because he's a spider, of course. Elvis has eight legs because he's a spider. Elvis the spider has a problem. What is his problem? Well, his problem is he can't swim. Poor Elvis, he can't swim. He wants to swim. In fact, he wants to swim a very long way. Does he want to swim a short way or a long way? A long way. He wants to swim a very long way. How far does Elvis, the spider, want to swim? Well, obviously, he wants to swim across the Atlantic Ocean. Ah. So where does Elvis live? Well, Elvis lives in London. He's a British spider. Which city does he live in? New York? No, London. Elvis the spider lives in London. And he has a problem. He can't swim. Where does he want to swim to? He wants to swim to New York City. Who wants to swim to New York City? Elvis the Spider. From where? Well, from London. He wants to swim to New York City from London. Can he swim now? No, no, no. Elvis can't swim now. He can't swim now, but he wants to swim from London to New York City. So he decides, I'm going to practice. What does he decide to do? He decides to practice. Where does he practice? In the North Sea. He practices in the North Sea. What does he practice in the North Sea? Swimming. He practices swimming in the North Sea. So Elvis the dog practices swimming in the North Sea. No, not the dog. Elvis the spider, of course. Elvis the spider practices 
swimming in the North Sea. He tries to swim, but he has another problem. It's very cold in the North Sea. Is it hot? Is it warm? No, it's cold. It's very cold in the North Sea. Is the North Sea hot or cold? Oh, it's cold. It's very cold in the North Sea. Elvis freezes. Does he freeze? Is he very, very cold? Yes, he freezes. Where does he freeze? In the North Sea, of course. He freezes in the North Sea. And he almost drowns. Does Elvis almost die? Yeah, exactly. He almost drowns. He almost goes under the water forever. Why does he almost drown? Well, because he's freezing. It's so cold, he can't swim. Does Elvis swim successfully or not? Not. He does not swim successfully. He almost drowns. He almost dies. Ooh, so next he decides, hmm, I know. I will go to the gym. I will go to the YMCA and swim in the pool. Why does he go to the YMCA pool? Why? What's his purpose? His purpose is to practice for swimming from London to New York. What does he want to practice for? He wants to practice for swimming from London to New York. What is his purpose? What is his reason for practicing? Swimming from London to New York. That's his ultimate purpose. So what is his ultimate purpose? What is his final goal? His ultimate, his final purpose is to swim from London to New York. Is his ultimate purpose to swim from London to Rome? No, that's not his ultimate purpose. His ultimate purpose is to swim from London to New York. What does he want to swim across? Well, across the Atlantic Ocean to New York. Does he want to swim across New York? No, not across New York, to New York. Does he want to swim to the Atlantic Ocean? No, he wants to swim across the Atlantic Ocean. Is that his ultimate purpose? Yes, it is. It's his final reason for practicing. His ultimate purpose is to swim from London to New York. Whose ultimate purpose is it? Elvis the Spider. It's Elvis's ultimate purpose. So every day, he goes to the pool. And every day, he visualizes arriving in New York. Every day, does he imagine himself arriving in New York? Yes, every day he visualizes, he imagines himself arriving in New York. Every day does he see himself in his mind arriving in New York successfully. 
Yes, absolutely. He visualizes. Every day he visualizes. He imagines. He sees. Every day he visualizes himself arriving in New York. All his eight legs swimming across the Atlantic, arriving in New York. What does he visualize? He visualizes arriving in New York City. How often does he visualize this? Well, every day. Every day he visualizes arriving in New York. He sees it clearly, vividly in his head. Does he visualize vividly? Yes, he does. He visualizes vividly. He visualizes powerfully, clearly, and colorfully. Vividly. How does he visualize? Vividly. He vividly sees himself arriving in New York City. Does he vividly imagine success? Oh yes, very clearly, very powerfully, very colorfully. He sees success. He imagines success. He vividly visualizes arriving in New York. And he practices every day. Where does he practice swimming every day? At the YMCA. Every day he practices swimming at the YMCA pool. He swims with all his eight legs in the pool. Swimming every day. Swimming and visualizing. Swimming and visualizing. Swimming and visualizing. He sees in his head arriving in New York. And he swims in the pool. Swims in the pool. Finally, the day comes. He jumps into the Atlantic. And he starts swimming. Swimming towards New York City. After 15 days, he's still swimming. Sharks try to attack him. He hits them with his legs. And he escapes. Storms come. Bad weather. Rain. He continues to swim. Ultimately, 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 and finally, he arrives in New York City. He is successful. The mayor of New York City gives him the key to the city. They have a big parade for Elvis to celebrate his success. What does Elvis ultimately do? He ultimately is successful. He ultimately arrives in New York City. He ultimately swims from London to New York City. He finally swims from London to New York City. Who is ultimately successful? Elvis. Elvis the spider is ultimately successful. He has problems. He has difficulties. But ultimately, but finally, he is successful. That is the end of the mini-story for Emotional Mastery 2. Again, listen every day, one time, two times, three times, it doesn't matter, as much as you can. When you listen, always have a strong posture. Breathe deeply. Smile and move as you listen. If you get tired, it's okay. It's normal. If you get bored, it's also normal. Just pause. Change your posture. Change your breathing. Change your smile. Move. 
and then start again. Okay, I will see you next time. Enjoy. Bye-bye.